did the um, nurses wear the same uniform as they did now? The uniform was a lot different. They used to wear very stiff caps on their heads, which made them look very professional. They used to wear a lovely dress and a starched, stiff apron. And But as the time goes on, they have been able to go into trousers now. But the uniforms I preferred years ago because it made the staff look very professional. Was the hospital always separated into two parts, like the children's ward and the... No, adults. adults. Yes, if I remember, back in back few year, going back about 30 years, there were two wards, three wards for children, C1, C2 and C3, and they were away from the main block. But it was different then. There were very, very strict visiting times. You may have only been able to go and see your children maybe two hours at a time during the day. But now... You went, you went to see your cousin, didn't you, in hospital last year, year? She'd got a TV. She could bring food in. She had quite a lot of visitors. And for the younger children, there was little camp beds. So the mummies or the daddies don't ever have to leave them. So you can see how it's changed over the years. I would imagine it's much nicer now for the children because they see more of the mummies and the daddies. What did you do um, before you retired? I first came into nursing when I went into Heath Lane Hospital. It did belong to Sandwell and it looked after elderly patients. But Nanny went in as a domestic first of all. And I used to do a lot of cleaning on the wards. But then I realised I liked the nursing side. So then I became what you called an auxiliary nurse. And an auxiliary nurse helped the train nurses and I thoroughly enjoyed my work and I thoroughly enjoyed looking after the patients and I feel I've been very fortunate to have had such a lovely job. Now do you know more now than when you came in this room? Yeah. yeah. So you learn every day don't you? Yeah, you always yeah. learn something. Yes. yes. Yeah.